Welcome back to Lyman's Revolution Internet. I'm Colorful Artie, and this is the episode where I'm going to try to have a more upbeat and positive attitude than I did last episode, because I realized last episode is kind of just me complaining about everything, and no one wants to see that. So we're going to do Wandering Free. And I, I do remember this level is pretty cool, I believe. A lot of these levels, I'm like, I remember the name, don't remember the level, but... Yeah, yeah, that's right. The five of everything level. With a high re Really? That's 50 release rate? Interesting. Well, start with a blocker. Okay, so... Looks pretty basic. Okay! I clicked the digger, and it sped everything up and would not stop speeding everything up. That's cool. Not. So much for the positive attitude, Vane. I really should figure out if there's a hotkey for that. Yeah, also in this, when a miner hits steel, they don't turn around, they just keep walking. Alright, little guy, bash for there, thank you. I'm getting spoiled by the frame advance tool on Neo Lemix, and now I'm finding it hard to manage without it. There's that, uh, gory trap of death again even though it's not very gory. Make sure you spread the digger tunnels apart. And I think they'll survive that, but just in case... Oh, that was my last builder. Well, that's dumb. Dumb of me. Forgot we only had five of everything. Well, this'll be fun. You get to watch me do everything at the exact same speed that I did it the first time. Everyone loves that. Man, that release rate just sometimes won't be changed. And it's not like it's supposed to be changed, and it can't be. It's like the game does not like allow you to change it on certain levels. I'm, I'm just telling you, as if everything worked as planned, like for this game, it would be a much better game. And maybe it's just because I'm playing it on a computer that's not supposed to run it in the first place and I had to download a, a super big patch to the game in order to make it run. I don't know. I do know I remember playing this on my old PC and I remember it being better than this. Oh goody, we know that now that they will survive. Alright dude, bash for there please and thank you. And it's going to be safe to let them out now. I don't like fish tanks. I better build over them. And that's wandering free. And everybody loves it when they can watch a giant train of lemmings just run to the exit in fast forward mode. Level completed, it's level completed, it's level completed, yeah. Excellent. And now we're on the next column, starting with the Iron Curtain. Alright, this is introducing another gimmick. Walls that can come out and crush your lemmings. Well, just platforms in general, but I think this level is more like a wall. 
Yep. This. This is one of those walls. Depending on the switch you push, which in this case, that would be this one, the wall is going to open up. So you can let your lemmings go through there. Very nice, that. Uh, no, 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 I said floater, not blocker. Come on! Loading! This game is going to be the death of me. That's what I was trying to do. Oh my gosh, the game will just not register your clicks like 60% of the time. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get my optical mouse to work. Because, honestly, anything's better than this. Something tells me, no, that's not going to work. But... Good grief, I clicked that on that lemming to make him a builder like three different times, and none of them worked. And I don't know about you, but I cannot take all these poorly designed gimmicks like spe the speed up always speeding up your lemmings more than you want them to. Or you not being able to make your builder build a second bridge like 50% of the time. And that's water! I could have just walked right across it. I is smirt. Oh, and he's not even a climber. I is really smirt. And he's not even gonna turn around from that. Oh! Yes, he is. And I took a chip out of the steel. I'll have to remember that. Hmm. Really? 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 For real? It's like, oh, I'm digging through ground. Oh no, I touched one pixel of steel. Better keep walking. Man. This game just loves pushing my buttons. All at the same time. See, the thing is, any one of these annoying fiends I could deal with, but the fact that they're all here is really grating on my nerves. So as you saw, the Iron Curtain just all of a sudden disappeared. And I see the problem now. Oh, oops. I hope they don't splat in the water. They don't. But I think I killed too many anyways. Hooray! Nope, never mind. Excellent. It's the Cold War! Casualties happen, you know? Is that too soon? Maybe. Alright. I thought that level was gonna be fun. It wasn't. Make mine a large one! <laughs> oh, I love the pun. I will make mine a large one, because that means we're going to build just do a large mining spree. Whoopoo. 
Ooh. It's the gnarly song. We're already doing a how to dig up the way thing. Okay, not what I had in mind. The rotating thing can kind of blind where you think you're going to end up. There we go. That was a remarkably easy level considering the other stuff we've been doing. Then again, the other stuff's been kind of easy as well. It's just been the interface messing with me that's made them so annoyingly hard. There! Your meal that has been supersized is ready! Thank you for coming to McDonald's. All right, now you're stalking. This is a good level. I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? This level actually, somebody, I believe, Ultimate J 1989 might have remade this into an ELMX level. Not really sure. All right, so now two guys go two different ways. We'll make him a blocker. Accept the release rate. Oh, we can actually put it to 99 on this level. This is good. I can't... No, that's just going to drop me right to the exit, I believe. I'm trying to count, so I'll need one, two, three, four... Yeah, this will work out. If the interface cooperates with me! This is actually a really cool level. So now we're gonna build the turnaround, and now we're gonna bash them out. This actually is a really cool level. I can see why this was remade into Neo Lemmix. And it didn't have any of the Lemmings Revolution gimmicks either, which made it a lot easier to port. And it looks pretty awesome as well. So well done, Psychosis. There is directional select in this. I did not know that when I played Lemmy's Revolution beforehand. Yeah, but see how awesome this is? That is a good level. One of the few levels in Revolution I'm like, wow, that's actually really good. That rivals regular Lemmy's for cool puzzles. I wish there were more levels like that. Now, Escape to Victory. This is a very interesting level because it introduces the weasels, as in the ones that played a trick on you. Basically, they will run around the same stage just like lemmings. They are all floaters. And if they touch your lemmings, they kill them. So, that's cool. So, yep, those are the weasels. So, we're going to do a very uh, cunning maneuver. Gonna cut the bridge down. You're gonna blow up, and this way the weasels are gonna fall in this moat and drown.
that would be fun to watch. Yeah, all weasels are floaters. It's important to note that. That too is also a really fun level, and that could actually be replicated in Neo MX with the zombies. I really wish I could max out the release rate. There is no reason why I shouldn't be able to at least increase the release rate. I am holding the click button. It's boring. Yep. If you don't go and kill the weasels, then chances are they're going to kill all your lemmings, or at least enough lemmings that you won't be able to finish. Let's play catch. This is the harder version of Lems and Loggerheads that requires walking bombing. It's it's just actually quite an annoying stage altogether, because it requires very precise walking bombing. You've got to get for two rows of logs. Other than this, it is literally exactly like Lems and Loggerheads. So I need to figure out when to start. Because, yeah, because you need to bomb them in such a way that they can blow clean through the stack. And because of the weirdly... Because of how weird the terrain is, it can be hard. It can be very, very irritating. I'm surprised no one's tried remaking the Lemmings Revolution tile sets in uh, Neo Linux. Hopefully that'll do it. No! It won't because that stupid lemming was an idiot and now I have to time everything all over again. At least it's only four bombers. I shouldn't be angry. Let's go! Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. I miss you, hotkeys. Come back. Alright, so... There we go. This will be fun. Oh. How are we going to do this with one builder, though? That'll be... That'll be fun! Not... And, once again, the game did not register my builder click. I literally clicked as, like, I pushed the button all the way down, right on him, and it just did not register my click. I really hate it when games do that. First Mario World was dropping my jumps, and now this is dropping my very crucial clicks. And there's no, like, you can't go backwards in time, obviously. So, one wrong mistake, you have to restart everything all over again, which is not fun. Well, I guess it's probably just as well. We need to bomb further ahead anyways. A lot further ahead. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. It's levels like these that make me realize, yeah, I don't really miss walking bombing. Interesting. Lemmings don't detonate instantaneously anymore. Or at least in this, I guess I should say. Doo 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 doo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's it's just the little things in this game, all put together, that just really get my goat. The little things. Like, if this game had faster load times, if it registered all my clicks, if it had a menu, better menu interface, if it had hotkeys, if I didn't click lemmings for a uh, wrong accident. <laughs> I can't even talk now. To quote Winnie the Pooh, have you ever had one of those days when you just can't win your... This is nice because it makes an extra little pixel. Not pixel, but you know what I'm saying. Oh boy, it was trying to make me fast forward for much longer than I was trying to get it to do anyways. Again, so thank you. Thanks, Obama. Even though you had absolutely nothing to do with this at all. Oh, well. Hopefully he won't. No, he's blighted. Well, I, if I had to save six lemmings, or if I had to save six, the good, shoo. That level is, it shouldn't be hard. It really shouldn't, but it is. At least it didn't have any of the crazy gimmicks. What's this next level? Two sides to every story, okay. I seem to remember this one's pretty good. Although so far, my favorite level's still been sometimes up, sometimes down with the anti-gravity pads. I want anti-gravity in Neolemix. And hey, speaking of which... Ooh, the plot thickens. <laughs> well, you know what I could do? I could just build, bomb, build, bomb, build, bomb, build, bomb. But I don't think I have enough work. Okay, so. Wait. Well, I mean, it'll be easy to save the, uh, the bottom lemmings. We literally just have to build over the anti-gravity pad. The lemmings on the top, however, that's probably not going to work. No. Bad boy. Okay. So we're going to need one, two, three lemmings to go up there. Whoa, 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 no! Okay. Maybe we can still salvage this. It's still early in the game. Ooh, that looked painful. <laughs> to quote, uh, Spy Fox. Amazing game. Sometimes the background objects do get in the way of the actual game, which can be annoying. Yeah, <laughs> yay. Escaped anti-gravity. Oh, I just saw the problem. No, I didn't. Because I can build. Oh, I didn't see that there. And now I'm from the south. Okay, I'm like, oh, this will be easy. No, you big dummy, you need to look at the whole course. I still do like anti-gravity pads, though. The game is so picky.
And we're gonna hear Lemming Pancakes in a second. Oh boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Too many Lemmings up here, maybe? Just a few? Too many? I did not push spacebar there. Not at all. Okay. Uh. Me, 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 yeah. So I was just okay. Good. At least with builders, I can leave them alone for a while, and I can trust that they're actually going to do their thing. Ah! <sighs> I will say, if the reason I'm getting so aggra well, there are a lot of reasons I'm getting so aggravated, but. One of the main ones is I'm so used to Neolemix, which has spoiled me beyond belief. So I'm like, I don't have frame advance. Yeah, duh. Like, I know with the, uh, the pause button, you can do everything you can do with frame advance, basically. What the? Alright, seriously, this is getting... Okay, this... There's just so much you have to keep track of on this level, and without frame advance that can be very, very... annoying. At least we've gotten to the good part of the level now. The easy part. No! You have got to be kidding me. This guy should have done it a frame earlier. <laughs> I'd like to picture the water my mains are a bit more nerdy than the regular my mains. What the? What the? Oh, 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 I see. There's like a tiny little gap you can go under. Alright, this time, don't stink. Okay, please tell me I saved enough. I didn't save enough. <sighs> Come on! This is getting really, really, really annoying. Because it wasn't really, really annoying already. It was just highly annoying. There's a difference. Doo doo. Ooh, doo 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 doo. Alright, four lemmings can go on the anti-gravity pad. After that... No. There we go! The pause button is your friend. Alright, so much for the positive attitude this episode. That went out the window. Do -do -do. 
Hey! Alright! Can we please- No, we can't be done with this- Well, I got builders. 50 of them, so even though that my main decided to be a jerk. All right, you guys can die. Which is not very becoming of me to say, I know, but man, they were just getting on my nerves so bad. Well, I am done. I can't take any more Lemmings Revolution today. I'm Color Forty. thanks for watching. Sorry I'm complaining so much, and tune in next time, where we are going to be taking on Would You Believe It? Yeah, oh, I can't believe I remembered that. Have a great day, and God bless.